Illinois State Redbirds op on the road to open the Valley season against Western Illinois. It's the final year for this Valley rivalry. Western heads to the Ohio Valley Conference next year. The Redbirds were down 9 nothing in the second quarter when Mason Blakemore goes around the left side and busts off a 42 yard touchdown run. This would make it a 9 7 ball game and it's Blakemore's birthday today. He had a huge game as a birthday present. Moments later, Zach Anikstead finds Fieldcrest graduate Cam Grandy on a 12 yard pass. That is Grandy's first touchdown as a Redbird. Blakemore rushed for 170 yards and three touchdowns. This 51 yard scamper gave the Redbirds a 27 to 18 lead with seven minutes left in the game. And the ISU defense accounted for seven sacks. Safety Keandre Jackson had two of them, including this one to ice the game in the fourth. Redbirds win 34 to 18. First game of the season for Illinois Wesleyan taking on Central Iowa at home. Quarterback Jay Lemonager, he takes the snap. Pass can be caught here by receiver Miles Key. That'll be a nice game for a first down. And Lemonager looking for another pass. This one on the screen out to the right side. Gets it to Travian Moore, and he fights for a first down as well. Now we're going to have some play action. Looking for the open man, we find Jonas Sapek with the catch. The offense, though, would struggle today in a 38-13 loss. Now back in Central Illinois, a couple of Mid Illini versus Big 12 soccer matches. We're going to start with the Morton Potters. They've won five of their first six games this year on the road at Peoria Richwoods. We're scoreless here in the second half. Morton's Harrison Day gets the pass in the box, makes a move, but his shot is going to be saved by the Richwoods keeper. Minutes later, this pass is sent to Andrew Brooks. Point blank shot here for the Potters, but another nice save by the Knights. Final minute to the match. Brian Pimentel on a great run for Richwoods. He shoots, but it's a save by the Potters. Caleb Saunders, a scoreless draw in Peoria between Morton and Richwoods. Normal West hosting Dunlap in the other big matchup today. Dunlap's Jackson Orris. He's going to take this shot on goal, but this is going to be saved by Normal West keeper Alec Axel Nord. Normal West then Bryce Edwards looking for a shot. He can't seem to get there. That's blocked by Dunlap's keeper Joseph Ayer. And then Kevin Cowery for the Eagles takes the shot. This one blocked by Nord as well. This game also a 0-0 tie. Tri-Valley Volleyball here in the final game of their tournament. Taking on the Washington Panthers. Tri-Valley's Haley Warfell sets it up for Ella Cryer, and she gets the kill for the Vikings. And Warfell setting the shot up for Amy Horn, and she'll get the kill there on the outside. Just drops it down over the blockers. But here comes Washington. Camille Barth keeping the ball in play, bumping it to Rebecca McDougal, who drops it in for the kill. And then Barth's going to pass it over to Terriana Jones here on the outside and just gets that to hit the line. But Tri-Valley's Horn, Tri-Valley's Horn bumps it to Warfell, who sets it for Elizabeth Detweiler for the kill. Tri-Valley wins 25-23, 25-17, and they are tournament champions. Detweiler Park hosting the first to the finish race today. It's the largest cross country race in the state. 5,500 runners competing today. Starting with the two-way girls, U-High and Washington, top-notch programs in Illinois. Sophomore phenom Natalie Beerbaum for U-High finishes second overall in 17 minutes, five seconds. Teammate Zoe Carter finished fourth for, and then for Washington, Sophia Ramirez finishing in seventh, and Panthers get third as a team. To the two-way boys, Morton Potters and the UI Pioneers leading the way for Central Illinois. For the Potters, a top 10 finish for Josh Weeks. U-High with four runners in the top 30. They finish as team runner-up. To 1A girls, Dusty Smith from Stark County, your top local runner, a top 15 finish for her. Just behind her was Micah Bender from Eureka, and the Hornets finish with the team bronze. And then over to the 1A boys, a top 10 finish for Elmwood's Isaiah Hill and Dean Witzig from EPG. Eureka with three top 30 finishes gets them second place as a team. Briefly tonight, East Peoria's Connor Watson is your medalist at the Redbird Classic in Metamora, and Bloomington Central Catholic is your team champion. With sports, I'm Patrick Cunningham. We'll be right back.